Economic growth is the transformation of knowledge into goods and services. And knowledge is generally generated by universities. Therefore, it's not possible to actually have effective economic development without engaging universities, either your own universities or drawing on knowledge that is coming from other universities. We need to train uh, our professors, our lecturers, to be in position to play their role as a major uh, part of the university development in Africa. In any country, the best specialist is the one living in the region. Because you can be a very big world specialist. You, it's not sure you will know the problem as best as the one who is living closer, who is seeing all the different aspects of this problem. So it's important that African politicians rely on their academics who have the, this, the contribution to solving the major issues of the, the country. Education means not just transmitting of knowledge um, from one head to another, but enabling, enabling people, empowering people. And this empowerment, I think, is the key for African development in the sense that um, what the I have the feeling that most African needs is their belief in what they can do and what they can achieve, and that a lot of resources lie within themselves. During uh, 15 years from TCAD 1 until now, uh, not only JICA but uh, all the partners, we concentrated uh, how to say uh, our uh, resource for the strengthening the uh, primary school capacity. But uh, we understand now, and the African government understands now, uh, that is not enough. High education is also necessary. High education means, uh, of course, university and also vocational training of high level. When it comes to higher education, unfortunately, the rate of enrollment in Africa is still very low, 3%. Only 3%. That means 3 out of 100 children uh, go to a uh, higher education institution. Of course, uh, the rate of enrollment is increasing very, very rapidly, but the, the rate of stands now is 3%. Our university is full. We have built the university for uh, uh, 5,000 uh, uh, students today. In Abidjan, the capital, there are 60,000 uh, uh, students in the same place. That's the problem. You know, when you build institutions that are transparent, that are strong, can withstand, you know, you know, problems of corruption, problems of leadership capability, then the economy will move. Those things will translate into you know, economic management. You know, higher education generally in terms of strategizing, in terms of modeling, uh, this is not going to come from the streets. You, you need also centers of excellence, think tanks, to, to try to chart out new strategies so that we don't have to react. We should be really ahead. You know, we, we should really tame the environment as it were. And without intellectuals, without higher education, without research, development, technological advancement, you cannot tame the environment. Nous consacrons pratiquement près de 25% du budget à l'éducation. Donc, pour dire un peu l'importance que nous accordons à la formation. Je dirais également que dans le contexte du monde d'aujourd'hui, euh, c'est le monde du savoir. Il est important donc que l'Algérie, tout comme l'Afrique, acquiert le savoir. Behind it all is the development of the human capital, human resource development. You must have the basis. That is the basis of everything. Therefore, the university, I mean, uh, has a very, very important role and a, a paramount role to play. Africa normally is part of the global thinking. And uh, we need African to be there. We need African to give their parts of this thinking, to show how, at the perspective, 
of African professor, African scientists, as far as the global uh, discussion is concerned, like globalization, like uh, a fight uh, against poverty, like uh, achieving the Millennium Development Goals, uh, achieve the education for all objectives, all issues so important for the TICA and so important for the development of the world. Uh, Africa should be there.